Hey, 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 what's up guys? Hey, 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 hey. What are the different types of muscles and their functions? There are 600 muscles in the human body. Most muscles are attached to bones and extended from one bone to another. Each end of the muscles is attached to a bone by a strong connective tissue, a tendon. Bones of the muscles move only when the muscles attach to them and pull. There are four characteristics associated with muscles tissue. Excitability. Tissue can receive and respond to stimulation. Contractility. Tissue can shorten and thicken. Extensibility. Tissue can lengthen. Elasticity. After contracting or lengthening, tissue always wants to return to its restating state. There are three kinds of muscles. Skeletal muscles, also known as straighted or voluntary. Number two, smooth or involuntary muscles, which forms the muscle layers of the digestive tract and other internal organs. Three, cardiac or heart muscles. Functions of muscles. The muscles give the body shape and mass. They support the skeleton and keep it steady. Muscles enable you to stand and maintain body posture. Muscles, muscles are responsible for body movement like walking, running, jumping, and dancing. Breathing and swallowing would also be impossible without muscles. Skeletal muscles. Muscles that are connected to bones and are responsible for movement are called skeletal muscles. The movement of skeletal muscles is voluntary. Voluntary muscles move with their consciously control. Aside from movement, these muscles give shape to the body. Skeletal muscles can be found largely in the arms, legs, chest, abdomen, face, and neck. Their size and shape de depend on their functions. For example, the muscles of the eye are small and weak, while the muscles of the arms are big and strong because they are used in physically demanding activities. The skeletal muscle consists of mass of muscle fibers grouped together and are attached to the boots through tendons. These muscles are situation when seen under microscope. When the muscles contract, it pulls the tendon, which in turn pulls the boot. The skeletal muscles work in pairs. This means when one contract, the other relaxes. When you bend your arm, the upper muscle shortens, while the lower muscles lengthens. When you put down your arms, the lower muscles contract, while the upper muscle relaxes. The elbow strengthens because the lower muscle pulls the bone of the lower arm. The smooth muscles. The smooth muscles are made of long thin cells that form layers like pile of They cannot be controlled. Muscles that cannot be controlled is a type of involuntary muscles. Smooth muscles are not attached to the bones. They are involuntary muscles because they work automatically like digesting food. You cannot consciously control the action of smooth muscles. 
smooth muscles, unconsciously control many of the internal organs of the body, like the stomach, arteries, vein, and uterus. Smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are found in the walls of the blood vessels, helping the blood flow. When you eat, the joint food is pushed by the rhythmic movement called peristalsis of the smooth muscles of the digestive canal. Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles is found only in the heart. The cardiac muscle works like a smooth and voluntary muscle. The bundles of cardiac muscles are all connected and can work together to keep the heart pumping. Cardiac muscles move rhythmically, contracting and relaxing are alternately to generate the force to pump blood throughout the body. The heart beats at the rate of 70 per minute or more than 100,000 times a day. What composes the skeletal system? The skeletal system includes the bones, joints, cartilages, ligaments, and tendons. These are tissues that make up the skeleton. Bones. A bone is a hard living tissue and contains blood vessels, nerves, and dividing cells. Bones functions Number one, protect vital organs inside the body. Second, provide anchor or support to the muscles. And third, produce blood cells. When you were a baby, you had about 305 bones. Some of them gradually fusing together. Do you know that there are around 206 bones in your body? Each bone has specific size and shape that matches its function. There are long and short bones. There are flat bones and irregularly shaped bones. The bones in your body have two divisions. The axial skeleton protects the delicate organs in your body. The appendicular skeleton provides support and aids your body in motion. Axial skeleton. The axial skeleton contains bones that protect the delicate organs like the skull, backbone, breastbone, and ribs. The skull protects the brain. It is made up of several bones which are fused together to form a helmet-like structure called the cranium. Attached to the skull is the backbone or spinal column. It is made up of an evenly shaped hollow bones called vertebrae, singular vertebra, that are piled on top of each other. The breastbone is an elongated flat bone at the middle of the chest. It is connected to the ribs, the breastbone and ribs to take the heart and lungs. Appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton comprises bones that aid movement. These include the collar bones, shoulder blades, and the bones of the arm, legs, and hips. The bones that protrude at the base of the neck are the collar bones. They are attached to the triangular bones called shoulder blades. Both bones stabilize the rib cage and connect the shoulders to the arms. The arm has three bones, one in the upper arm and two in the lower arm. Its head also has several bones that fingers and palm. The same can be found for the leg. It has one long one in the upper leg, as well as two bones in the lower leg. Between the upper and lower leg is the kneecap. The foot also has several bones. Just below the waist, you can feel the hip bone, which connects the backbone and the legs. You can bend your knees, twist your arm, nod your head, and do other movements. You can do a lot of movements because of your joints. The joint is formed with two bones connect. Types of joints, gliding joints, hinge joints, bone and socket joints, saddle joints, pivot joints. Gliding joints 
are located in wrist and these move by sliding bones over each other. Hand joints can be found in ankles, knees, and elbows. These joints are responsible in bending and straightening. Ball and socket joints are used in free movement in all directions. These are located in shoulders. Thumbs can move by tilting in several directions through the use of saddle joints. Pivot joints are located in head and neck. These joints are used for the limited movements and turning right to left. Cartilage, ligament, and tendon. Cartilage is a tough, flexible tissue. You can feel the car cartilage in your earlobes and the lower part of your nose. Cartilage is also found in most of the voice box and in the windpipe. Cartilage is the one cushioning the ends of the long bones where the bend and helps the joints move. It also functions as a shock absorber. There is also an oil-like fluid at the end of the bones called synovial fluid that lubricates bone. Ligaments attach one bone to another where two bones connect. Ligaments are tough strands of connective tissues. It is the ligaments that hurt when you sprain an ankle. Ligaments are made of very thick and elastic material, making them tough. They can stretch when the bones move. The bones do not separate even if they do a lot of movement because the ligaments hold them together. Tendons are made of tough materials connect a muscle to a bone. An example of tendon is the Achilles tendon in the foot. It connects the calf muscles to the heel bone. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more video updates. Bye-bye.